Hi, this is Katka Lessons channel and in this video I will tell you what parametric modeling and direct modeling are and what are the differences between these methods of creating 3D models. Let's start with parametric modeling. Parametric modeling is an approach to design that involves creating a model by defining a set of parameters, relationships and constraints that define the geometry and behavior of the model. Using this design method we can easily adjust the design by simply changing the parameter values such as dimensions. At any stage of modeling we can introduce changes and these changes will be applied and considered throughout the model. An essential feature of parametric modeling is the operation tree, which contains the entire history of operations, showing step by step how the 3D model was created. One of the aspects of parametric modeling is that the model has precisely defined dimensions and any changes are made with the required accuracy. Here I have a model created in a parametric 3D CAD system and this model consists of features and parameters. Even when the model is completed I can introduce the changes to the model's parameter. For example I can change the dimensions of the sketch, edit the sketch and change the length dimension of this rectangle to 150 mm and notice what happens to the other dimensions. The other dimensions are linked to this dimension, this dimension is parameter and by changing this one dimension the others are adjusted through equations. Close the sketch and in this case this operation is also adjusted because the sketch on which this pocket was created is also parameterized and linked to the rectangle's dimensions. And as you saw I introduced a change and this change was applied throughout the model because I linked the individual dimensions. This modeling approach can be very effective and efficient in many cases when creating 3D models. Another approach to 3D modeling is direct modeling which allows for direct editing of the model without using an operation tree or parameters. Everything is done directly in the workspace. We can freely change the geometry's shape by simply dragging the model and there are no relations between individual elements. This modeling method allows for quick changes because we don't need to search and change parameters. We make changes directly on the model. However, to make precise changes we need to focus and if you want to change several features we must change each one individually. There are no relationships between the elements. If I want to change the dimensions of this model, I can select the face, drag it and the changes are made this way. I cancel that. Now if I want to enlarge the model, I can for example cut the model in half at the cutting line and see how easily we can do this. Ok, we have the model cut into two elements and now I move the solid, I choose the move command and move it 20 mm along the x axis. Ok, it's moved, I accept and to remove this gap we can do it easily. I select the face, choose the appropriate command and indicate the face to which I will add an extrusion. I click OK and now we have two solids joined into one. If we want to extend it in the other axis we can do it in the same way. And as you can see we are doing everything directly on the model without introducing any parameters. In some cases this modeling method can be very effective and enjoyable. Here I have a simple example to roughly show what direct modeling is and the difference between direct and parametric modeling. In parametric modeling all geometries were somehow related and the change in one geometry affected the whole model. Here we change each geometry separately but this is not necessarily a disadvantage. In conceptual modeling where high precision is not required, direct modeling allows for significant freedom in creating models and can be much faster and easier than parametric modeling. 
Both methods have their pros and cons. Since the beginning of my experience with 3D CAD systems, I mainly used parametric modeling, thinking direct modeling was more for artists and graphic designers. My main experience with 3D CAD systems involved designing parts for CNC machining, where precision and its introduction of precise changes were crucial. Often these parts were interacting with other components, so there was no other approach to 3D modeling. However, since I got 3D printers, many models don't need to be parametric. Of course, parametric modeling works excellently for technical parts like enclosures or machine components, but for decorative projects, I found that parametric modeling can limit creativity. In direct modeling, there are few limitations and we can easily create various creative projects. And to relax and break away from strict rules, I decide to play with direct modeling and it turns out to be a pleasant way to create 3D models. As I mentioned, both methods have their pros and cons, but knowing both approaches to 3D modeling allows you to choose the one that best suits your projects. And that's all for today, thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.